Good morning. Congratulations. Nice Thank Let, you. Let's talk about uh, winning the competition. I mean, what does it mean to you as, some, as somebody who didn't necessarily go to art school and is a self-taught artist to win a competition like Cecil New Signatures? Yo, it, is, it has been absolutely fantastic for me. Hey? It's been one of the best things that's ever happened in my life. As an artist, you always question your own value, you know, in this world where money is a big deal. Um, and and to be recognized like that. I live in a very isolated place and I just plug on every day and then just to be thrown into this world, it has been huge and I, I feel so much more confident as an artist. Let's Fantastic. talk about the, the title of the series that you entered for the competition. It's titled The Weighed and Measured Series, I Am You and Survival. I mean, what is the significance of that title? Sure, I'm glad you asked me that question. I just find um, that in this world you're born into a certain body and you're treated as, as such. So if you're born a, a female, you're treated as a woman and you're expected to behave in a certain way. The same thing as if you're a male. If you're born black, you're expected to behave in a certain way and you're treated in a certain way. If you're white, if you're rich, if you're poor. And I find that very inhuman, you know. We are souls with bodies. We're not bodies with souls. And um, as to when we start to treat each other as if we are souls and spirits, then the world will be a completely different place. And as a female, as a mother, you know, I'm, I'm very aware of, of what, that role. Um, and so I, I, I explore this a lot in my artworks, value. It's all about value in this world and the value structures we place on each other. What has been... The, so the highlight of embarking on this journey of art and who's, who was that one person that said to you, you know what Elizabeth, you're actually very good at this art thing? Sure, that's also a great question. Um, that one person is Bobby Goodall yeah. and I met him 10 years ago and I made a little wax sculpture and I said, check this out. This was like the first thing that I made and he said, wow, that is amazing. And somehow we got our hands on some money and he built me a beautiful studio. So that's Bobby Goodall and another um, man is Kim Goodwin of the, of the Goodwin Foundry in Ligerton. Mm. Sure, if it weren't for him, I, I would not have made these pieces and the same with Bob, Bobby Goodall. Um, he's my foundry man, and when I first started, he said, sure, I really like your work, and he wanted to cast my work into bronze, and he gave me the deal that I could pay him once I had sold my work. So that just gave me a huge break. Mm. And yeah, if it weren't for those two people, I promise you I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> Let's talk about a record number. I mean, they had a record number of entries this year, over 500 um, entries. What, in your opinion, made your work stand out out of more than 587 works? Well, you know, the art world, it's all a matter of opinion, hey? So, I, you know, the, the, the fact that those particular judges were choosing that day, that was of huge help to me. Um, but I think maybe um, because I'm, I'm self-taught, I think my images are very new images. And I think that um, the judges were excited about that. Um, I, 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 I haven't... I haven't and I'm not only am I self-taught, but I'm in a very isolated place, and I live right on the edge of this huge misspelled forest. And I have a background in nature conservation. So all of that is coming into my work at the moment, and it's not really from the art world as we know it. Mm. It's from a whole different place. Okay, so you've got this exhibition as part of your prize for next year at the Pretoria Art Museum. Yes. Have you at least thought about, okay, which direction you might be going into for this exhibition? Yeah, I, I'm thinking about it constantly and nothing else. And, <laughs> and it wasn't a thousand rand that I won, it was a hundred thousand rand that, that, that I won. And so um, that's a lot of money and I can do whatever I like for my, <laughs> this will be my very first solo exhibition. So I'm very excited. I'm going to be carrying on with this theme of um, being in a physical body and being treated like that as if you're, as if you're a body and not a spirit. And th that is really what I'm going to be working on, um, trying to find spirit and compassion and empathy and uh. portray that. All right. Elizabeth, thank you so much for talking to us. Congratulations again on winning the okay. Sussel New Signatures Art Competition. She's a winner for this year. Uh, Elizabeth Jane uh, Balcombe speaking to us about winning the competition. Her works, The Wade, The Measured Series, I Am With You, I Am You Rather, and Survivor. She walks away with 100,000 rands and a solo exhibition at the Pretoria Art Museum. That is only next year.